Hey guys, this is Sam. Uh, first of all, please accept my sincere apologies for the very long break. Uh, I held up with uh, so many projects and work, so I couldn't allocate time for our channel. Uh, but today I've decided to complete the long-awaited video for HTML for video programming series. Uh, actually, this is going to be two videos instead of one. On the first video, we'll be learning how to implement or use other plugins. Uh, on the next video, we'll be learning how to make our own plugins. Okay, enough of that. Let me stop talking and start writing the code. Right, why don't we clean up something here before we begin? When I opened this code after a long time, I noticed something which is very, very important. That's VideoJS initialization. Actually, VideoJS can be initialized in two ways, right? Either you can uh, add the attribute data set data setup here with all the properties you want to set. Otherwise, you can do all the things on your JS file like this, right? I'll always recommend this because this is the place where all your business logics takes place, right? Okay, I forgot to remove this data setup. So it's like initializing the same thing again and again. Otherwise, it will be throwing some unnecessary warnings in the console. Let's see what are the plugins we are going to cover today. Uh, we are going to cover Rotate Zoom, Watermark, Thumbnails, and Playlist. When you Google uh, uh, VideoJS plugins, you will find this GitHub repository, which is, uh, which is having all the list of plugins. No worries, I will be leaving this link in the video description. With these plugins, literally you can do anything. As you can see, we can able to see the clear description after uh, every plugin name. Okay, I downloaded all these plugins and I uh, organized everything inside this uh, plugin directory, plugins directory. Yeah, this is uh, dependent JS files and this is CSS files. Guys, if you want to learn the shortcuts and how to master this uh, Sublime Text Editor, uh, then you can watch my Sublime Guru video series. Uh, I'll give that in I, I icon. Please check it out. Uh, but guys, uh, always use the package manager. Uh, now I, what I did is I just downloaded, uh, just for the demonstration purpose, in order to reduce the time of this video. Uh, but you always use the package manager. I always recommend that. Okay. Now what I did is I already included the script files here. So four plugins and let me hide this first okay and uh, actually you need to include uh, this css file also because some uh, some plugins comes with this uh, css files don't forget to include that in your html file otherwise it won't work properly okay let's jump into our video lesson first things first okay for zoom rotate plug plugin i can do like this zoom rotate sorry now let's provide the properties rotate let's say 180 degree what will happen if you give 180 180 will uh, completely uh, turn your video so it will the video will be upside down okay now let's set the zoom factor as 1.5 okay let's try it out Uh, yeah, video is in a perfect dimension and extraordinary zoom. I don't think zoom is working. Let's try with some other uh, bigger values. Three, let's try it out. Yep, it's working. Yeah, it's working. Right. Now let's try the watermark. It's watermark time. Player sorry player dot watermark okay let's start with the uh, okay let me yeah okay let's start with the file attribute now we need to give the uh, image url so let me take this and paste it here instead of 800 by 450 let's try 50 by 50 because 800 by 450 will be very large. And let's pause the exposition. Let me set it as 0. The maximum value is 100. 
uh, if you set the maximum value it touches the other end other end on the x axis you get the idea right so say same way y position for me 0 is fine and let me set opacity as 0 0.6 and okay what i'm going to do is when i uh, click on that uh, mm, watermark it should take me to my website let's try that so for that we need to enable this clickable okay now i'm pausing the url that's it guys as i said earlier in the video lessons uh, instead of writing the plugin separately like this you can directly write it here i'm just writing it separately just to show you the different ways of uh, doing the same thing so you can pick yours let's see how it looks like great we got a watermark at the top left and it's interactable and it's opening the given url yeah great okay the same way let's try thumbnails for this plugin i can write like this player dot thumbnails okay it takes a json object uh, okay another json object with the key zero zero means like you need to mention the seconds so it starts from the zeroth second and now we need to provide the image here okay now the problem problem arises for my demonstration i'm going to uh, use the sample videos from this uh, gist file uh, don't worry i'll be leaving this link in the video description let's take some image url from here okay let's okay okay what happens when we reach 30th second let's say 30 and have some other image i think these images will be very big anyways let's try it out okay wait okay i'm going to hover yep okay when you hover on this particular session it's showing the first image and on the second uh, uh, session it's uh, it's showing the second image what we have uh, provided actually uh, instead of using this plugin you can actually use the sprite image for showing the thumbnails for that you should generate a vtt file for your video uh, using VTT file, using VTT files, you can even have subtitles for your video in different languages. Uh, just Google it. Uh, actually, you will find it how. Okay, let's try the playlist plugin. That's the last one for the for today. Uh, playlist. Okay, this uh, this uh, this plugin takes the uh, array of JSON objects, not JSON object. I'm sorry. It takes array of JSON objects so we need to provide a json object now right okay okay it takes sources so again sources is an array um here you can like give different uh, uh urls say for example source and some video url and you need to specify the type say video sorry video slash mp4 in order to make it work on uh, firefox what you will be doing is you will be having the same copy and uh, here you will be having webm file right so don't forget that okay for instance I mean, for my demonstration i'm going to keep it like this don't worry i'll be adding the source in a while after that after this source uh, we need to include the thumbnail right poster Maybe we can take the image from here, right? So we can take the image from here. Okay, that's perfectly all right. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, let me copy this uh, JSON object and uh, let's change this image URL. Right now we need the video, don't worry. We'll be taking that video from this, uh, where is that? Okay, we'll be taking it from here big bunny mp4 let's give it here okay elephant's dream oh 
okay now uh, okay we need to like start we should say we sh you should start playing from the first video right so i'm just saying uh, to adva uh, to advance zero okay let's check out this guy that is that okay the video is now playing okay let's go to the end just to check whether it is working fine okay what it's playing the same video again and you knows why is that because we have set loop as true okay let's give it a shot okay five more seconds three seconds two one there you go yeah now it's playing the second video right okay okay guys what are you looking for get your hands dirty and try whatever plugins you want and let me know in the below comment section before we close this discussion let me tell you one last thing as we see these plugins are awesome right but we don't have much controls in that say for example zoom zoom rotate is awesome right zoom rotate is very awesome but user won't require this uh, option all the time this zoom thing or uh, rotate thing should be given as an option inside the video player so user can have it whenever he wants look at this playlist plugin again this guy actually uh, doing the job of playing all the videos from the list but there is no ui representation to pick them manually like we do in youtube kind of incomplete right but there is a solution yes we should learn to develop our own plugin uh, start developing your own plugin and share your experience in the uh, comment section below i'll meet you next saturday at 6 pm of course i'll be teaching you uh, how, how to build the plugins with that we'll complete this video series thanks for watching this video give it a thumbs up Uh, if you if you like this video don't forget to share with your friends uh, if you are new to my channel consider subscribing stay tuned thank you bye bye